a very warm welcome dear students today we are going to discuss about the sort analysis i am dr hori nadir assistant professor school of management pvt university lucknow so this is the course uh, of business policy and strategy this comes under bba course and semester 5th year 3 now we are going to see uh, before starting the lecture that what are the uh, outcomes so learning objectives will be what is sort analysis we are going to discuss then aims of sort analysis then who needs sort analysis then how to conduct sort analysis pitfalls of sort analysis and the types of sort analysis so to start with sort that is strength weakness opportunity and threat what is it all about this is a technique that enables a group of individuals to move from everyday problems and traditional strategies to a fresh perspective or we can put it in this way that sort analysis looks at your strength and weaknesses and the opportunities and threat of the business on day to day basis coming to uh, again to the sort analysis that is providing the framework and it is very important a useful tool to use in the marketing management and other business applications as a basic tool its mastery is a fundamental requirement for the marketer entrepreneur or a business person a clear understanding of sort is required for business majors or major business purposes whenever we are starting a new business or we are acquiring a business or we are sustaining a business sort analysis also always plays a vital role in the business scenario now what is sort analysis all about so this is uh, strengths opportunities weaknesses and threats whenever we are talking about strength and weaknesses these are two micro level strategies or the internal level strategies for the organization whenever we are talking about the opportunities and threats so these are always available in the environment or macro level strategy or on the basis of industry level we are going to discuss about opportunities and threat in the market so whenever we are talking about the acronym or the full form so s stands for strength w for weakness o for opportunity t for threat again two uh, factors are internal are focusing on internal environment other two are focusing of on external environment whenever we are talking about internal scenario of any organization these are coming under the periphery of strength and weaknesses whenever we are talking about the uh, external environment or the factors available or the factors affecting uh, organizational growth in a major umbrella so this is more of like opportunities and threats available threat is in the form of competitor opportunities in the form of new product development or the new market development or the new opportunities so all of these are coming under the horizon of sort analysis now what is sort analysis first of all we are going to consider the strength strength is what basically it is a characteristic of a business or a team that give it an advantage over others in the industry positive tangible and intangible attributes internal to an organization beneficial aspects of the organization or the capabilities of an organization process capabilities then financial resources then products and services then customer goodwill and brand loyalty for example uh, we have abundant financial resources or we have well known brand name or we have economies of scale or we have lower cost raw materials or we have better talent inside our organization or we have better marketing skills better management skills or we have good distribution channel partners or we have committed employees so these all comes under the umbrella of the strengths 
Now let's consider the weaknesses. Weaknesses what? Weakness is the characteristic that plays the firm at a disadvantage uh, relative to others. Whenever we are talking about the disadvantage or detract the organization from its ability to attain the core goal and influence its growth. Weaknesses are more of like a factors which do not meet the standards uh, we feel that they should meet. For example, we have as an organization, we have limited resources, we have a weak research and development department or we have limited distribution options or we have higher cost of the products or the distribution network is not that very strong. So these are all coming under the umbrella of weaknesses for any organization. Whenever we are talking about the opportunities, so these are the prevailing opportunities always available in the uh, environment. So the companies, they are going to see the opportunity and they are going to engage the opportunity. They act as a ladder to the growth of the organization like uh, for example, rapid market growth or the rival firms are complacent or the changing customer needs and tastes or use of uh, existing product or we are going to uh, expand new market scenario or we are going to inculcate new uh, research and development and new features of a particular product. So this comes under the umbrella of opportunity. When we are talking about the threats, so threats is what basically it is an external element and, and the environment that could cause trouble for businesses. External factors uh, that is beyond the control of the organization and mostly arises when the condition in the external environment jeopardize the reliability and profitability of the organization's business. Compound the vulnerability when they relate to the weaknesses threat are uncontrollable. When a threat comes, the stability and survival can be at stake. So whenever there is an entry of foreign entrant inside the uh, business scenario, then we are facing the threats or the rival firms are uh, adopting some aggressive strategy, aggressive marketing plan or aggressive or the new innovative technology can also be treated as a threat to the companies who are not following the new uh, technology or the innovative uh, measures. Now we are going to discuss what is the aim of uh, SWOT analysis. So either it is useful or harmful. So whenever we are talking about the pros of uh, SWOT analysis, it is helpful in decision making. Then it is going to clear the path like seeing the opportunities and threats. Uh, but it is also uh, used to organize the important factors linked to the success and provide the line of the decision like for a particular decision we are moving in a certain direction. So the direction is given by this analysis only. So who need short analysis? Companies like business owners, job holders and uh, the companies they are going to use SWOT analysis for making new teams, for developing new products, for developing new markets, for uh, acquiring and sustaining the customers. So here again we have different uh, like positions or different factors or different variables where we need SWOT analysis. First of all either people are changing jobs or there is a product launch or there is a decision making or there is personal development planning or there is competitor evaluation or there is product evaluation, strategic planning, brainstorming or a workshop session. We are going to see SWOT analysis for this very purpose. So yes, here we are going to discuss how we are going to conduct SWOT analysis. There are basic three factors or the three steps. Number one, we are going to analyze internal and external environment. 
then we are going to perform sort analysis and we are going to do the documentation on this very level then we are going to prepare action plans for future course of action then here we are going to discuss that how we are going to conduct sort analysis number one analyze internal and external environment how we are going to analyze internal external environment like in internal environment we have strength and weaknesses and external environment we are going to have opportunity and threat and we are going to scan the environment for what are the opportunities and threats available what are the weaknesses and strengths we have as a company as a owner or as a product then again we are going to see that how we are going to conduct sort analysis so first of all we are going to analyze internal external environment so that is strength weakness opportunity and threat we are going to analyze those things then we are going to perform sort analysis and document then we are going to prepare action plan for the particular reason or for a particular problem so in continuation to all those steps we have already discussed here we have a uh, like uh, more of like a steps like select contributors then we are going to create a workshop then we are going to uh, evaluate the listed ideas then carry out findings then we are going to allocate the resource uh, resources and research information establishing purposes then after uh, selecting all the objective we are going to list uh, that what are the strengths and weaknesses opportunities and threat we have in hand then we are going to carry out the findings to make sure that it is working your short analysis is working uh, with the or going to give you a good result again for the conduct we have already discussed these three uh, scenarios like we are going to analyze so the second scenario we have already discussed how we are what are the major steps in performing sort analysis and documentation now we are going to discuss the third step that is preparing action plan for your sort analysis now we are going to make a plan uh, for making a plan we have uh, things that must be addressed immediately then we have things that can be handled now or we have things that should be researched further or we have things that should be planned for future so we have four types of different different problems at each point of time we are going to take up one or two or we can club more than two uh, but on the priority basis we are going to handle one by one now let's discuss the limitations of sort analysis first of all it can be very subjective then it may cause organization to view circumstances as very simple due to which certain key strategic contact may be overlooked then the third one categorizing aspects as strength weakness opportunity and threat might be very subjective as there is great degree of uncertainty in the market so the narrative is that uh, that there apart from these strength weakness opportunity and threat there are the problems prevailing in the society in the market in the products and we have to focus on those particular problems uh, here to be effective sort need to be conducted on a regular basis then the data used in the analysis may be based on assumption that subsequently proved to be unfounded that is either good or bad so the data used is not always checked and controlled then it lacked detailed structure so here are some tips that uh, and the do's and don'ts that uh, to be avoided things to be avoided and things to be inculcated in the sort analysis first of all we are going to discuss the do's uh, be analytical and specific then record all thoughts and ideas be selective in the final evaluation choose the right people for the exercise because choosing the right people is a herculean task always 
देन चूज अ सूटेबल शॉर्ट लीडर और अ फैसिलिटेटर देन थिंक आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स एंड बी ओपन टू चेंज वेन एवर वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग और वी आर इवेल्युएटिंग और वी आर मेकिंग द डॉक्यूमेंट्स फॉर शॉर्ट एंड दिस इज वी शुड अवॉइड सर्टन थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू डिस्कस वीकनेसेस नियरली लेस्ट एरर्स इन मिस्टेक्स लूज साइट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल इन्फ्लुएंस uh and friends allow the sort to become a uh, um uh, like a blank cling exercise then ignore the outcome and planning process so with this uh, we have discussed uh, the sort analysis that is coming under unit 4 of uh, business policy and strategy uh, paper uh if you are really facing any difficulty and if you are facing any problem related to this topic you can contact me directly thank you so much